From the legendary Aztec death whistle to a book bound in human skin, here are 10 of the scariest and most grotesque discoveries ever. Number 10. The Aztec Death Whistle the, the Aztec Death Whistle is one of the most terrifying musical instruments in the world. Back in 1999, archaeologists were investigating the Temple of Tlatelolco when they came upon a skeleton. This skeleton was a sacrificial victim, holding in its hands two peculiar figurines shaped like skulls. At first, archaeologists thought the strange figurines were nothing more than toys, but recently someone decided for whatever reason to blow air into the clay figurine. When a disturbing and blood-curdling scream then emerged from the skull, archaeologists realized they were dealing with something far more sophisticated than a simple toy. It was a death whistle, and this simple artifact would go on to change the way historians understand the rituals and instruments used by the ancient Aztec people. Interestingly, archaeologists have found similar instruments across other Aztec sites and even in the Mayan kingdom. They found instruments made of clay, seashells, and even animal skins, but they've never been entirely sure what purpose they served. The skull whistles found in Tlatelolco were likely used to mimic the screeching and howling of the wind. This makes sense because the temple they were found in is dedicated to Ejecato, the wind god. Historians now believe these whistles of death were used to help when guiding victims of sacrifice to the afterlife and the great beyond. Of course, another theory is that the Aztec death whistles were used in the hundreds during battle, combined together to create a deafening sound like a thousand screeching ghosts to terrify enemies during battle. Just imagine fighting the Aztec warriors when the sound of death itself started approaching. You'd have a hard time not just dropping your weapons and running away, I bet. Number 9. A Book Bound in Human Skin At Harvard University, a book was recently discovered to be bound in human skin. And as disturbing as that sounds, it's apparently not as rare as you might think. The book is titled in French, De Destinée de l'âme, which means Destinies of the Soul. Staff at Harvard University believe the book was likely bound using the skin of a female mental patient who passed away of natural causes. Isn't that just totally insane? The binding was done in the 1880s, but researchers only recently tested it to confirm that yes, it is indeed made of human flesh. But here's the deal. Binding books in human skin was allegedly quite popular during the 19th century, though the practice goes back to a much earlier time. Covering books using human skin is known as anthropodermic bibliopagy. There are few surviving examples of books bound in human skin, though it's highly likely the majority of them have already been tucked away inside of private collections. There's one surviving book in the United Kingdom currently owned by the Bristol Record Office. The book was crafted using the flesh of the first man ever to be hung at Bristol Gaul. His name was John Horwood. He was only 18 years old when hanged for the murder of Eliza Balsam. Even more bizarre is that following Horwood's execution, the surgeon who dissected the corpse took a piece of skin from him and then used it to bind papers detailing the case. The book was even embossed with a skull. Number 8. The Toraja Funeral Rites There's a place in Indonesia where the funeral rites are so scary to an outsider that you'd be left in shock. This place is in South Sulawesi, where the Torahans behave very oddly with their dead relatives. To them, death is just a part of life. When someone dies, they're treated not as if they've left the world, but as if they're merely sick. These people offer food, water, and for whatever reason, cigarettes to their recently deceased, because they believe that the spirit stays in the body and continues craving even after physical life has left. But here's where things get strange, at least from an outsider's perspective. The lifeless bodies of the Taraha are kept and cared for in a traditional house, where they remain from anywhere between a couple of months to a couple of decades. The bodies are kept relatively stink-free by using dried plants, what this means is that if you were ever to find yourself in this part of Indonesia, you could discover an entire village filled with mummified dead bodies sleeping in houses, being propped up in the streets, and wearing clothes and smoking cigarettes as if they weren't even dead. Creepy, right? Number 7. Ancient Bones 4,000 years ago in what is now northern Vietnam, a young man grew profoundly ill. His body was recently found at the Mon Bac archaeological site near Hanoi. The way in which he was buried, curled sadly in the fetal position, suggests he suffered lifelong paralysis. What this means is that as far back as 4,000 years, human beings were making at least some kind of effort to care for their sick and dying. Out of all the skeletons buried at Mon Bac, his is the only one curled in the fetal position. All the other skeletons are lying straight in their graves. But it wasn't until archaeologists examined the skeleton that they saw why he was curled in such an unusual way. His vertebrae were fused and he had weak bones. It was then obvious that the way the man was positioned in his grave was the same contortion he would have suffered during his life. He was bent and crippled in life and in death. Further tests show that the man probably had no use of his arms. He was unable to feed himself. He would not have been able to keep himself clean. He also probably became paralyzed just before adolescence. 
But the shocking thing is that a group of primitive hunters and gatherers took the time out of fishing, building, and surviving to care for one of their own who was so hopelessly afflicted. Number 6. The Tomb of the Sunken Skulls Archaeologists excavating a prehistoric lake bed in Sweden just a couple of years ago stumbled upon one of the strangest archaeological discoveries the country had ever seen. Researchers found what is known today as the Tomb of the Sunken Skulls. The tomb consisted of skulls left behind 8,000 years ago. Even more gruesome is that the skulls had been mounted on stakes. Nobody knew why the skulls had been staked, but recently one of them has been reconstructed to showcase the actual face of the man who met his grisly fate at the site with his head at the end of a stick. Researchers took the guy's broken skull and combined his genetic information to make a realistic bust of who this person was. He was named Ludwig by the researchers and has long brown hair, blue eyes, and is in his 50s. He was reconstructed by a forensic artist named Oscar Nielsen. But perhaps the scariest part of the recreation is that the man, 8,000 years old, doesn't look much different than people today. Hairier and angrier, maybe, but not much different. He looks like he could be your great uncle. Number 5. The Lloyds Bank Coprolite the Lloyds Bank Coprolite is not as scary as it is disgusting. It's actually one of the best preserved pieces of feces anywhere on Earth. Specifically, it's Viking poop. It's also fossilized and has been referred to by paleontologists as just as precious as the crown jewels. The fossilized waste has been dated back to the 9th century when the area of York, today in England, was ruled by ruthless warrior kings from Norway. The fossilized feces itself was discovered in 1972 under what later became a bank. This is why it's known as the Lloyds Bank Coprolite. The human who deposited the fantastic specimen, which by the way is a whopping 7 inches 18 centimeters long, had a diet mainly of meat and bread. Scientists also know that this individual had quite a few intestinal problems. The coprolite was found filled with worms and worm eggs, which had probably caused the person great distress and excessive gastrointestinal issues. In other words, cramps and gas. The majestic piece of excrement is now on display at the Jorvik Viking Center, stashed safely inside a glass box for all the world to see. In 2003, some touchy tourists dropped the fossil on the ground and it shattered into three pieces. It's been fixed and now nobody is allowed to hold the ancient poop. What would you think if your greatest contribution to the world turned out to be a piece of poop that got preserved for hundreds of years after your death? Would that be funny to you or just sad? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to American Eye if you haven't already. Number 4. 800 Mammoth Bones Archaeologists in Mexico found a rare trove of extinct giant's bones. They discovered at least 800 bones belonging to 14 extinct mammoths in central Mexico, making it one of the largest boneyards ever found in North America. Even more fascinating is that archaeologists believe they found a trap used by humans 14,000 years ago to capture and kill mammoths. If true, this would be the first ever mammoth trap discovered by modern archaeologists. According to Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History, this is the biggest discovery of its kind ever made in Mexico. The bones of the mammoths were found in Tultepec, Mexico City. They had probably been living in the area for thousands of years. This was at a time when the region was rich with wild camels and horses. Researchers have identified at least five individual mammoth herds that populated what is today Mexico City, one of the largest cities in the entire world. However, researchers still aren't sure why so many mammoth bones were deposited in the area. There's still a lot of research to do, especially because the bones were found during construction of a new airport. As construction progresses, paleontologists are confident that they will find even more bones and hopefully answers too. Number 3. The Sonora Alien Skulls The Sonora Alien Skulls are some of the strangest skulls ever excavated in Mexico. Of course, they didn't actually belong to aliens. They were the skulls of people who had gone through cranial deformation. This was a practice once common throughout many parts of the world, from North America to Central America, and all the way to the old cultures of South America. Evidence of cranial deformation has been found in Europe as well. But the Mexican skulls were particularly fascinating. They'd been warped on purpose to form bizarre, alien-like shapes, and they were found inside of a cemetery from a thousand years ago. The cemetery yielded 25 human corpses, with 13 of them being people with deformed skulls. The skulls were elongated, pointy at the back, and many of them even had strange and mutilated teeth inside their jaws. This is known as dental mutilation, and it's even more disturbing than cranial mutilation. As if squeezing your head with pieces of wood to grow oblong wasn't disturbing enough, they also filed and grinded their teeth into strange shapes. Another thing that was really fascinating about these particular skulls is that they were found in Sonora, which is very close to the American Southwest. It's the farthest north that such deformations have been found in the Americas, suggesting at one point the practice had been spreading through the region. It makes you wonder what the world might look like today if people had kept on doing this. Maybe all of us would look like coneheads. Number 2. A Shamed Nun 
The remains of an immoral nun have been found in Oxfordshire after 900 years buried in shame. The woman was found inside of her grave lying face down. This is an important part because being buried with your face in the dirt was a common punishment back then for nuns accused of engaging in what is seen as immoral behavior. This discovery has led experts to speculate that the nun must have been involved in some kind of scandal and was subsequently shamed in death. The excavation itself uncovered at least 100 skeletons near the Oxford United Football Stadium. The skeletons are all somewhere between 600 and 900 years old. Archaeologist Paul Murray, who was the lead on the dig, said they were just as shocked by just how many burials they found. The place they were excavating had once been a church, a nunnery actually, called the Littlemore Priory Nunnery. Nobody had any clue when the excavation started that so many bodies were hidden under the surface. The nunnery was founded in 1110, then shut down in the 1500s because the nuns were involved in questionable activities. Nobody knows exactly what the nuns were doing that made them such social outcasts. And nobody knows what the face-down nun had been doing to earn her a punishment usually reserved for sinners and witches. But it could have something to do with the baby found alone inside a casket nearby. What do you think? Number 1. The Oldest Human Burial In a spectacular archaeological discovery like no other, the oldest human burial in Africa has just been found. According to the report from The Guardian, the burial dates back 80,000 years. Older human bones have certainly been found, but this is the earliest incidence of a person being buried ritualistically in Africa. The person who had been buried was a child, only three years old at the time of death. She had been placed with her legs tucked against her chest, probably wrapped in a shroud, and then gently covered over with soil. Archaeologists found the young child's bones while excavating near a sheltered overhang at the mouth of a Kenyan cave where ancient humans had once congregated. As of right now, our entire species can trace the ritual of burying a dead person back to this very cave and this one little girl's bones. It's both fascinating and scary, as well as creepy and definitely mystifying. But what's even more fascinating is that according to Professor Nicole Boven, an investigator associated with the project, this may have been a time in which human beings were starting to develop a complex system of beliefs surrounding death. This is one of the things that greatly separates us from chimps. Humans understand death, we want to know more about it, and 80,000 years ago, we began inventing rituals to come to terms with it. Would you read a book made of human skin? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more crazy videos from American Eye.